Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And this is a new series we're doing. In-depth dive, in-depth with Green Magic. What's up, Joseph? What's up, guys? How's it going? So you guys have seen Joseph on the channel before. He's a uh, big-time Tecmo player on the channel. And uh, today we're going to be breaking down some NFL Blitz on the Nintendo 64. And when I thought about doing this series, uh, I, I asked Joseph, you know, if he was down to do it and to pick the first game. And the first game that he chose was NFL Blitz. So, Joseph, uh, why did you go with NFL Blitz? Yeah, well, we just had the Super Bowl. And so I figured, you know, let's uh, say goodbye to the football season with some football. Um, we do see quite a bit of Tecmo Super Bowl on this channel, and it's well deserved. But I thought maybe we could do something that's like a little uh, less familiar to people. Um, when we talk retro sports and recent sports, we can talk about Madden, but I think a lot of people are familiar with that. So I thought we would go with a series that um, was still excellent, but maybe doesn't have all the uh, attention on it. So we got uh, NFL Blitz for N64. And NFL on. Blitz on N64 started out as an arcade game. Of course, Midway is the developer of NFL Blitz. Uh, and Midway is a Chicago-based company, and I was completely unaware of that back in the day when I was playing all of their games. But yeah, yeah, they, too, yeah. they were a Chicago-based company, um, defunct in, I think, 2009, uh, around then, and, uh, you know, defunct into NetherRealm Studios bought up the remaining properties of, uh, of Midway. But today, we're, we're here to break down this game in particular. Uh, I would say NFL Blitz has got to be up there as one of the top sports arcade games of all time. For a football game, it has to be up there in the top three. And some of the things we're going to go over today is going to explain exactly why that is. For sure, yeah. So, uh, one of the things I love about the series is the ability that you have to do stat tracking. Uh, stat tracking and keeping your initials with, our, with uh, demo mode leaderboards. Uh, in between when you're playing the game uh, they're they're displayed very well uh, what we're going to do first is get into the menus here uh, well you had an overtime game going yeah it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so NFL blitz uh, no title screen on the n64 uh, the PlayStation one does have a a title screen <clears throat> And uh, this game also came out as a console port on the Game Boy as well. Uh, so, looking at the menus, you know, you have your basic things here. And there wasn't a huge expectation of modes that you had to put into a game back in 1997. And we'll just go over some of these quickly for you. The arcade play, of course, this is just how you would do it in the arcade. You put the coins in, except in this game you just press start. Everything's free. Yeah, <laughs> everything's free once you buy the game. It's like barcades nowadays. Yeah, everything exactly. So you put you put in your initials. It keeps it keeps your record. Other statistics. You got the leaderboards that I was talking about. You go head to head with your friends or against the computer. Try to beat all. I think thirty teams in this particular version of the NFL. Thirty teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have the season play. Season play, uh, you see that there was one started with the Bears. Uh, you have a few options. You take one of the teams, you play through the schedule, which at this time would have been probably the 1997 or 98 season. And then you could view your stats, schedule, standings. You know, the basic stuff. This was before you, can, you had all those extra features. Uh, create a player franchise mode where you're trading players win the MVP uh, Even some of the things in later Madden games where you're setting the price of souvenirs and hot dogs in the stadium coffee coffee <laughs> beer you're setting all those prices and Then we have the play editor so the play editor 
I'm gonna let Joseph go over that one. Yeah, for sure. And tackle the play editor. All right, so the play editor is a really fun feature. Gotta enter our name. May as well put in a real one. I saw someone ask about how do I get a name like Green Magic? Well, uh, you know, kind of spur of the moment um, on techmobile.org. You gotta, you gotta have a screen name. So I was like, well, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan, and Don Mikowski was the quarterback, so Green Magic. All right. Perfect. So when we go into the the create a play, which you know this. So, um, you know, this game is plenty fun without this mode, but it's, it's kind of exciting that they put it in here. Um, so you just go create edit. They give you a slab of nine plays, just like when you're in the game, you'll have two different screens of nine plays. So a total of 18 plays. So we'll, uh, we'll just choose the top left here. First thing you do, uh, apparently, is you name the play. <laughs> um, we're going to do like we did uh, last time. We're going to call it Bombs. I think you got a D in there, but leave oh, it. Doms. doms. Yeah. Doms. They won't know what hit him. You get to uh, choose the formation, which is, you know, loosely like you would see in um, NFL football. I may as well point out uh, Blitz is 7-on-7, seven seven, uh, unlike uh, normal football 11-on-11. 11 11. So you're going to have the three orange X's there stand for your linemen. Obviously, you got the quarterback uh, taking the snap behind. One, two, and three are your skill position players. So when you do the formation, there's just a different way of rearranging those skill position players, which are a mixture of wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs, depending on who the game wanted to put in there. So some game, a lot of times it's two wide receivers and a running back. Sometimes it's uh, one of each. Sometimes there's two uh, halfbacks in there. So you can um, kind of do a mix. You can put one guy way behind you, um, trips right, always sexy and then uh, pretty much everybody in the backfield or you get an extra blocker so we're gonna go trips right because that one's like probably the most unpredictable you're like what the heck are they gonna do quarterback you can say whether you want him right behind the line or shotgun always shotgun of course and then you get to even though you set your formation it's really a starter point because you click on the first guy and you can slide him around anywhere you can put him it's kind of crazy you can put him behind the third guy you can put him right behind the quarterback. You can, you know, even though you said it was trips right, you can put him way out left. So it's kind of fun to play around with. You can make something visually really whack that you wouldn't see. Maybe you'd see the Patriots do it in real life, but you wouldn't see. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't see a normal. What are their do trick it. plays? Yeah, you know, set up a trick play here. So maybe I'll put everybody side by side. So you slide this guy. Let's say if we were the Colts, this would be like your Edgar and James or something like that. So we'll just put him here right by Peyton. What's he going to do first? Well, you probably want to give him some momentum going forward. Um, when you press A, they're going to show you a little bank account of several special moves you got. And these these are what for all your skill position players can do. So you can give them all to one guy to like put him right where you want him. Or you can, you know, you probably want to save a couple for each guy. So let's say Ed Green's going to go up a little bit. Um, he's going to he's going to pause. He's going to you know, put a little juke. He's going to go right, but then he's going to turbo and he's going to go straight. He's going to go up 20 yards. And he's just going to hit, stay there in that zone. That's what Adrian's going to do. Then he's just going to, <laughs> he's just going to wait for uh, Peyton to find him. Then So we got um, we got Dilger here, or whoever the number two guy would be. Uh, we're going to put him right on the other side. Um, we're also going to make him go straight. Um, maybe a little bit of spin move to the side. You know, maybe, maybe he's open for that short game. Um, maybe he hits a turbo and then uh, a spin move and then he's going across so um, I haven't tested this play out hopefully they wouldn't be crossing each other uh, Edgar and, and Dilger so um, let's say he's, he's done with that and then uh, third guy Marvin Harrison well, we want this to look hilarious so we're just gonna stick him back here um, he's gonna he's just gonna go straight we're gonna we're gonna turbo him He's gonna juke, and then he's just gonna be—he's just gonna be way up here. So this is kind of a wacky-looking play, but you can see how fun it can be to experiment. And you would never see a, a play quite like this in the real NFL, and that's the whole point. This is this is arcade. You can do something completely goofy, like I just did, or you can really get down to the brass tacks and say, like, I never really know how to defeat a medium zone. 
So you set your guys up so that um, you know they're they're moving to like really confuse the defense, and you can beat that medium zone. Could do the same with man to man or suicide blitz is another defense that a lot of people like to to pick uh, maybe more than is actually strategically advantageable. But so you know you got your play, you can do that. Um, the, oh, I guess we're not gonna save our play. Um, but you know, then you you just keep going to your other plays, and if you want, you can make a full playbook, or I think you can just make one play or two, and then the rest will be default. So yeah, one thing is when you're creating your playbook, you <clears> want to <throat> or your plays, you just want to make sure you can get those plays off, and the routes aren't too wacky, because yeah. if you do make them too wacky, that blitz is coming in fast. This game is called NFL Blitz, <laughs> so you can't do too much messing around. Because if you do, you're going to get sacked. The other thing that's interesting about the playbook editor that we just went through is the save play feature. If you have an N64 memory card and you save the play, you can bring the N64 memory card to an arcade. And the Blitz 99 arcade cabinet has a memory card insert on the side of the cabinet where you could put the N64 memory card into there and load your playbook and play people at the arcade. That's one of the most interesting features that I've ever seen between a game console and the arcade. Uh, kind of a cool feature from Midway. Don't know how much it was utilized, but I would love to test that out in the future. I know there's some beer caves in Chicago that have Blitz 99, and I have seen the memory card slot on the end, and I would like to test that out one day. So maybe we can make that happen. That'd be cool. In the future. Those always make me nervous because it's like um, it's like putting a um, an untested USB into a drive. You know, aren't you supposed to be wary of that? So it's like people bringing in their N64, you know, little. Uh, controller packs it's like it feels like it's gonna be a virus yeah. floating around or something but i guess back then they weren't worried about that well you have to understand too that midway started out as an arcade company uh so you know that was their main deal making arcade games and the arcades at the time even though there were some great ones coming out like nfl blitz they uh they were a dying breed the arcades because the consoles were catching up and this is one of those games that is really a great port of NFL Blitz. So instead of just going all in on the consoles, they're still making arcade games and trying to find a way that they can create an environment where you're still going to the arcade and playing the game at home. So you can go to the arcade and play it and you can play it at home. And we know how that story rides out now in 2018. In 2018, the consoles won over that battle and uh, you know there was a few more blitz versions that came out but of course uh, the arcades at, at least in their current in their in their form back then they did they did die out a little bit but now they're resurging and uh, Joseph just created another crazy crazy yeah, this play. Is, no this isn't crazy this is uh, well thought out not really uh, I call them Mead Zone um, because, you know, like I said, maybe your opponent is uh, cracking the whip with that medium zone and you want to have a specific play that's going to uh, make them have some tough decisions on defense. And so I'm pretending that this is exactly what you need to, to break a medium zone. So and we option you got. Right. And, and we, are, we are doing this live, and we do see the chat. We will get to some Q&A after we finish our in-depth with NFL Blitz. So let's move on to the next menu item. And then we have options, of course. You look at options. You know, nothing too crazy here. Difficulty starts on medium. The quarter lane starts at two. You can put it on four and six. This is an arcade game. Two minutes is perfect for it. It keeps it moving. Keep it there. Help boxes. Help boxes are there for the newer player. They pop up at the beginning of the game. Shows you how to play. Once you're experienced, you could turn them off. The play timer, you want to keep this on. It keeps the pace of the game great, arcade style. You leave it, you leave it off, and you play someone who wants to really dive into their playbook. The game could take twice as long. <laughs> leave play timer on. Yeah, they're trying to have that uh, psychological bleed you out <laughs> defense. <laughs> and then 
the system, you know, it's just your sound shifts, shift screen left and right, sides of the screen, uh, your and then your you know your controller configuration. Side screen, that seems like it could be potentially kind of fun to uh, mess around with. Yeah, some of these CRTs are a little bit different sizes, so. And then restore, that just has to do with the memory card and the data. Uh, one of the things that's missing from NFL Blitz is looking at your roster as, right. as far as the attributes. And this yeah. is one thing that we talked about before we wanted to take a look at NFL Blitz because we're both big Tecmo guys. And Tecmo, they give you an overview of each player and their attributes. NFL Blitz doesn't have that. It has the team rankings, so how much does that play in to the actual gameplay. Oh, yeah. So I think we could talk about a little bit about that as we enter into a game right now. One thing that's a tease is not that people particularly care about offensive alignment, but when you do, uh, <laughs> for better or for worse, they do they do a good job. They don't even list them on the roster when you're picking your team. So uh, I'm not even, I'm not even sure who my offensive linemen are. You know, like they and, and defensive linemen. They show the uh, they show the players that you can man. There are four players you can man on defense before the snap, but as far as who your alignment are, you don't even know until they make an interception or something like that. So, so at least that would give you a hint if it was like some some Hall of Famer on your D line. At least right. you know well, I got this Hall of Famer, you know. Exactly, and you see mm -hmm. I'm on the right, Joseph's on the left, so you can see who's on each team. Uh, Arizona, hey, I have Jake Plummer, Eric Metcalf. I don't think we're going to go through all of the teams here. We have our teams pre-picked. We're going to go with the Bears and the Chargers. But as you can see on this screen, they have the team rankings, and they're not going to give us time anyway, so let's <laughs> go to, because it plays like arcade game, Chicago and San Diego. But you see the team rankings. The Bears are terrible at passing with Eric Kramer, even though he had some good seasons. Uh, but I would say it doesn't matter as, as much as you think it does. Now here is where you enter in your codes. Uh, tournament mode's the most basic one just to make it equal play. Joseph entered that. But you can enter stuff like big head mode. I used to know how to do like invisible uh, quarterback. How to do like a little bit of fog passes. on there. And uh, what else was the one? No stadium, I think. I don't really know what that one did. Oh, one of them was it gets like, rid of the exterior of the stadium. Uh, okay. One of them was like uh, ice, like, and you would slide after each play. You would slide. That was kind of a hilarious little uh, little thing they added. Now, one thing, if you're playing man to man, uh, man versus man, if you hit up twice on the first square, it hides your cursor. So your opponent doesn't know what play you're picking. They can't mm. just peek over. Right, and you can. I could see like, okay, well this looks like a man-to-man. -man. Every now and then, it, it is a little different. It's kind of disguised. <clears throat> and just like in, in Tecmo, I'm gonna try not to reference Tecmo too many times, but it's a point of reference. There is quite a bit of a QB sneaking. You let a play develop, and then if you've got the yards, you just kind of take it is what I've found. So like Tom said, I'm going to press up twice, and you just got to remember where your cursor is because you can't see it anymore. One thing you can do is you um, move the one of your skill position players <clears throat> before the snap. You know, he'll do the same route, but he might go in a different direction. You put them on the other side. And since the arcade cabinet is sitting behind us, I play that quite a bit. The frame rate is a little bit slower in the N64 version than it is in the arcade. Uh, specifically before the pre-snap. Once, once the snap starts, it seems to move pretty well. You know, close to the, your standard 30 frames per second, but... Before you snap the ball, it looks like it's a little bit slower. Yeah, a little bit. I do find every now and then it does speed up, and I haven't been able to figure out what the uh, uh, what the, you know, the mechanism one that made it faster. I feel like on special teams on punts, a lot of times it speeds up a little bit. And 
NFL Blitz, one thing it is known for is its violent hits. But at one point, as the story's told in the pitch video, in the pitch to the NFL, there was way more violence in the game as far as the hits are considered. Uh, they toned it down big time to meet the standards of the NFL. And thankfully the game still came out because we're playing it right now. Uh, I think if it would have been in reverse that NFL Blitz came out or tried to come out before NBA Jam, maybe they wouldn't have had as good of luck. But since NBA Jam was such a smash hit and they already had a history with another major, uh, major sport being the NBA, that they had some confidence that they can they can make some money with this particular game NFL Blitz. One thing I learned recently in um, practicing some NHL '94 recently is that they um, there used to be fighting in the NHL, the ESPN NHL uh, series, and then uh, the NHL told them to take it out or they wouldn't license it anymore. And uh, I think they made true on that for at least one game. They took the NHL licensing away. Uh, so that's just like an interesting um, difference between those two leagues. Here, obviously, the NFL, for at least a little while, was okay with this kind of like late hit, no rules, violence type of thing. Yeah, I don't... In the 90s, specifically in video games, they were promoting the hard hits, hardcore. Yeah. Uh, they even had those VHS videos that would show... Yeah. Oh, like hard hits of the NFL. <laughs> I know like football follies was one of them that I had, but uh, they they would they would have a whole VHS tapes just showing you all the hard hits in the NFL. So it was, it was being promoted back then. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, it's not like current day where they're 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 toning down yeah, the violence. That of doesn't the game. and that doesn't. If there is a hard hit, that doesn't make the PR at all. <laughs> they kind of want you to forget that there was that yeah. hard hit that someone may have oh, got yeah. a concussion on. So. Yeah, most recently, you know, Gronkowski going out in the AFC Championship game. And then, uh, who was the other Patriots player that got blasted with that helmet-to-helmet? -helmet? Oh, I don't know. I forgot, but he he was out of, out for the rest of the, of the game uh, in the Super Bowl, 52. There's, there's the sack. So, the animations that you see on screen between the players the way they got those is motion capture and motion capture is a technology where a person has a bunch of like sensors on them uh, and they just move around and they're able to take that data and create an animation with it uh, for NFL Blitz one of the the guys Sal DeVita one of the developers, he created all the, he was actually the motion capture guy for all Oh wow, that's hilarious. Yeah, so they they were debating on if they should get an NFL player or who, who, sh, who they should get to do it, but he, like, he, no, he volunteered to do it, and uh, there's a great uh, making of the NFL Blitz, like five to seven minute segment, you could find it on YouTube, and I'll post some links to it, but he talks about how he really likes wrestling even though he hates to admit it so that's why you see a lot of wrestling inspired moves in NFL Blitz uh, you see like the, the leg drops and elbow drops it, for the late hits also you got like the, the twisting arm thing and later in the series they would uh, I kept trying to do it in this version and they couldn't you can kind of do some chain tackles like one guy will make the initial tackle kind of throw throw the player up and then the next guy will come and kind of hit him again maybe even for an extra loss of yards but they, they hadn't had developed that quite yet here but that strikes me as like a really wrestling thing <clears throat> yeah and one of the things is if you have if you're a talented player at nfl blitz because of what we talked about as the attributes not mattering as much uh you could pretty much take any team and be successful with them. I know, like in NFL Blitz 2000, on the arcade cabinet, each team has different playbooks. 
on this version, you have to edit your plays to get different playbooks with the playbook editor that we showed you. Uh, otherwise, the, the teams just have all similar playbooks. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say the. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like you're gonna notice, notice some rosters appear stronger than others. They might have a, a couple Hall of Famers on there, um, and the other ones maybe not so much. Or uh, you know, you, obviously you see the, the attributes before you um, before you pick your team. But one thing that's like a lot more significant, I would say, is the, the rubber band AI. I just pick up a fumble, and that was, you know, you could say, oh, I made a great tackle. I don't know, maybe it's because you were winning by two points. I don't know. So. And I got the ball at halftime. <laughs> and you got the ball yeah. at halftime. So um, that's that's one thing you'll definitely notice as you progress in a season. And uh, for better or for worse, you kind of, you, you learn to, um, you, you learn to roll with it, you know. You, um, at first, that rubber band AI kind of really helps you get into the game because all the games are close, and so you always have a fighting chance. Um, then as it goes on and you get, you get better and better, you kind of want to like beat the computer by more, or uh, maybe beat your friend, you want to beat him by um, two touchdowns instead of one. And that's where kind of the more advanced skills come in, how do you fight back against that rubber band AI. Yeah, and that's, that's one thing that's included in pretty much all midway sports arcade games is that rubber band AI where they make the game close whether you're losing or winning uh, with this tournament mode on it's not supposed to be as strong okay. I would I would argue well it's not supposed to be there at all but I, I think it still is programmed there just not to the same extreme but I've seen players that get really good at these games where it, it definitely doesn't matter so I would say with the tournament mode on that's scaled down to almost a point where it doesn't, it, it won't affect a really skilled player, the rubber banding of, of the AI. And the tournament mode, don't you have to have both players select that though, for it to like get locked in or? No, yeah. one person puts it in, it's okay. it's locked in. And touchdown bears. So we are playing the game right now, even though we're not talking about what we're doing <laughs> as much, but you, you could probably hear our joysticks. Clicking, click, clicking, clack. So another thing about NFL Blitz that differentiates it from other other sports games, and specifically football ones, is there's no pass interference. So if you see the ball up there in the air, <laughs> you could just go tackle the guy before the ball gets there, and that's completely legal. Um, there's no penalties in the game. Uh, there, you know, I forgot to uh, to see. Is is the on fire? No on fire. No, no on fire in the original Blitz. That was that was added in Blitz '99 in the arcade, and then Blitz '2000 in the 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 home console. Blitz '99 never came out as a. A console port. It wasn't until Blitz 2000 where you had those features. Oh, I just out of the way. Yeah, I, I like those that uh, on fire um, situation a lot on the consoles. You can really use it to your strategic advantage, especially with that rubber band AI coming back at you. If you're on fire, that it, that helps your offense and your defense. Uh, your offense it makes it harder to get tackled. Defense, I think you're a little bit faster, and uh, so you can like kind of catch up even faster to the, the offensive guys. But uh, yeah, you mentioned no pass interference, no rules, uh, no kickoffs. Oh yeah, no no um, user kickoffs. Uh, you do you do return it. Um, user thirty yards for. A first down, which sounds ridiculous, but you see how fast these guys are, and um, you see, uh, you see, yeah, 30, 30 yards is about right. It's really its own brand of football. It's based off of American football, of course, mm -hmm. but there's changes that they made that makes it its own unique game. For sure, I find that there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of things that, that carry over from regular NFL as far as like uh, 
um, I don't know, you want to mix up the run in the past, you don't want to be too predictable, um, that sort of thing, you know, patience, also the strategy of maybe, you know, mention 30 yards for a first down, that sounds like forever, um, as you can see, it's, it's easy to pass, easy to move the ball, maybe you want to strategically uh, give up those 10 yards, get the next, uh, the next play, second and 20, um, Maybe you want to give up another 10 yards. Third and 10, maybe that's when you have a user you have a user blitz, which you can do by just kind of bringing your, down, your guy down. Um, maybe you can get a user sack like that. So you can mix up the strategy just like uh, you know regular football. Another thing you can do is, uh, so you've got your guy that's in motion here. You can, he can um, find a new route, like I guess he did. Or you can actually make him a, uh, a fourth blocker. So this is my guy right here. I'm going to press turbo A and B. And he's just going to pitch up here and block. So you see him at the bottom of the screen there. Um, I'm not being very smart with ball control there, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> how to throw a doing. bomb. Yeah, how to throw a bomb. Um, and that looks like. That looks like, well, why would you want to take a guy out of the, the play, you know, because then you only have two guys to pass to. The thing is, again, with that rubber band AI, um, that, that defense is going to be coming in there really fast. Um, and so they may only have two rushers, but they're going to get right by your three guys, maybe even four guys. So um, especially in the second half when you're playing the computer, you want to have that fourth blocker in there uh, quite a bit. So yeah, you stopped me on that last drive. I couldn't score in the fourth quarter, and Joseph gets the win. Woo! 22 to 17. Keys uh, to the game. Two fumbles for the Bears. There's some go-to <laughs> plays that I use in the Blitz 2000 ERK that aren't here, so I struggled a little bit. Uh, now, th this screen is something that I want to talk about. I love these these screens that show you the, the grand champion, which is beating all the teams, the greatest players, biggest winners. It's showing you developers of the games, Termel, uh, DeVita, are ones you can recognize, the best offensive players. So not only are you engaged in wins and losses, but also you know rushing the ball, your best defense, offense. You could keep track of these stats like it's, uh, like it's almost a... I wouldn't say it's a simulation experience, but you have great stat tracking even though it's an arcade game. Oh yeah, for sure. I actually have my controller pack. Maybe I should pop that in and uh, show show what I did. I don't know. Is that would that we be able to load that? You have your controller pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can give the, that a shot. The default is the. So let, the de let me let me turn it off a second. Oh, okay. So Joseph's gonna put in his controller pack. I'll take mine out, and we'll load this baby up so he could show us what he's talking about. When I saw that blank screen of defeated all 30 teams, I'm like, I defeated all 30 teams, but you can't prove it unless your controller pack is in. Um, I guess you got to go to load, huh? No, just hit, just hit back and let the demo screen go. And they're a staple of the Midway games. Showing you some pictures of the players, grand champions. Didn't load anything. Huh? Maybe it, see. Maybe I got to go to restore on the options. Yeah, we can we can give that a shot. We're doing an in depth dive, so let's let's, <laughs> let's see. Let's dive right in. Oh wait, you might want to. You are one. Here, I'll, you go ahead. You hit it. Okay. Back into N64 life. Game data loaded successfully. That, that sounds delicious. Uh, and I'm still not on there, man. That's embarrassing. Well, you know, oh, well. So these old controller <laughs> packs, maybe they don't work as well as we thought they did. Uh, it doesn't look like... I definitely don't have the ones in that are first party. I have these old uh, performance memory card pluses. I do have one that is a first party uh, N64 memory card, um, but it's it's not in any of these controllers. I really like the world records. Uh, we just lost that screen there, but uh, you say with your controller pack, it'll record the most touchdowns in a game, most interceptions in a game, which are really hard to do, but a really fun skill to 
wrap your head around if you're able to do that. Um, maybe it's victory margin, that sort of thing, it's most sacks. So those are kind of like, I feel like there's a lot of pride there. Like put in the time and everyone's going to beat the 30 teams, but you know, can you, can you get that seventh touchdown, that eighth touchdown? It's kind of really fun to do. Looking back at these games, you could tell Midway had a lot of fun developing. They like to include the developers in the game as hidden characters. A lot of times they're some of the best players. Mm -hmm. So not only do you get to create a, a great game with the NFL license, but you put yourself in the game and reward yourself for creating such oh, yeah. a, a masterpiece, which most of their games are. So I find that really interesting that they put themselves into the game. Now one of the most notable hidden characters in here in NFL Blitz is Raiden. Oh yeah. Uh, there's some other ones as well. Uh, but like I said, a lot of them are the developers. Uh, they like to stick in Mortal Kombat characters whenever they can. That's oh, yeah. one of their series as well. Uh, sometimes they'll get they'll just get a little silly, like uh, maybe it can be a penguin or something like that. Yeah. Just kind of something, or maybe a clown, something kind of random like that. Or yeah, like get you can do a code for a, a big head or something like that. Sometimes they're just. Uh, little things that don't affect the gameplay too much but are kind of fun like uh everyone ha will have the same number who uh, has the ball or something like that so, and you can change the gameplay elements like uh i think sometimes you put in a code and there are no first downs and so it's just like a completely different game you know or uh little little things like you can show the kicking percentage or, you know yeah. little, little fun things like that to just kind of mix it up and now, one of the other things is there's no run plays where you hand the ball off. Mm -hmm. Everything has a pitch or a throw to it. Mm -hmm. So there really is no handoff running plays. Uh, yeah. Do you like that as a feature of Blitz? Do you think that makes it unique? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, I like it a lot. And um, you, you really, like, one way that it mirrors the NFL again is, like, you can still, it's up to you whether you have the preference of being a running team or a passing team you um like you said there's no handoff runs but um you'll see some of the plays here if you have a, a halfback kind of ducking out to the left it's more like a read option at that point it's like he's there for the pitch or you can just keep it with the quarterback and um so uh, I, I like that a lot not only that um and obviously if you you dump it off to the halfback he can run he can pass too. That's a that's a unique thing about this series is it's very much like anyone can pass. You know, there are in, in the real NFL there are plays like halfback toss. Um, I mean, we saw the Eagles do that in the uh, in the Super Bowl. I guess it was a tight end throwing the Nick Foles. But in here, that's that's common. You can do that as much as you want. You can have the quarterback throw it to a halfback, throw it to wide receiver, throw it back to the quarterback who's 30 yards down the field. Um, so that gives a really exciting. Um, kind of unexpected avenue to this game that um, it's kind of there for fun, but you can, if you wanted to, you could put it into your strategy and your opponent will be like, why is your quarterback 30 yards down the field? You're like, well, I, I schemed that. So, right. So it's got a running game, but in like a very different way for sure. So where would you rank NFL Blitz up there as far as all time retro sports football games? Including simulation, arcade, everything. Just putting you on the spot. Oh, Where would wow. you rank wow. NFL Blitz? Doesn't have to specifically be this version because they are so similar. But uh, the NFL Blitz series. Where would you rank that? Well, yeah, for for series, it's for me, it's 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 behind Tecmo, and um, I would I would say it's I would say it's a, a, above Madden, um, even though they're for me personally, even though they're. Um, many uh many madden games obviously they, they still make them today uh, i would say for madden it's, it's more about like there are a couple specific games like 09 that i have um positive memories of and so a couple of them stick out um, but blitz all the games are fun to me um my, my favorite would be on the arcades but um you know, uh, whether it was 64 or PS2 or whatever, they're all they're all fun. They all have like certain things that I like about them that for me put puts it under Tecmo Super Bowl as my second favorite, I guess. Yeah, I would have to agree. I think NFL Blitz is the second best retro football game of of all time. Uh, some of the things that differentiate the two 
Um, they could have probably used the uh, the pass selection from Tecmo, where you just like you know, rotate. Yeah, you yeah. rotate. I think that's that's much more accurate. Sometimes in NFL blitz, you just move the joystick left to right to throw to the player, and sometimes they're in a similar position, so yeah. that creates errors at times. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is, it's hard once you're playing to notice the difference between like Dan Marino rushing as a quarterback. Uh, and yeah. uh, like Steve Young, yeah. it's hard to notice a real speed difference between the two. Whereas in a game like Tecmo Super Bowl, you notice that that speed uh, yeah, difference. Sure, yeah. So, but as far as what the game's bringing you, as far as the presentation, the late hits, the no pass interference, the arcade fast action gameplay, it's really tough to beat it. I mean, it, it might be the best like arcade for sure. Um, in my mind, at least. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's take a let's take a quick look and see if there's any questions for us to answer in the chat. So, actually, one of the questions was top three favorite NFL games of all time, and we talked about Madden. Uh, Madden, I think there's there's a case that some Maddens are are better than this version of NFL Blitz, but as far as retro, this was way better, in my opinion. Yeah, Madden 64, like, maybe the gameplay was okay. It looked really awkward to me. Blitz was a step ahead of it, at least at this generation. I did enjoy some, um, some, like, Capcom MVP football on Super Nintendo. It was, was kind of fun, but it didn't really d differentiate from say the Mavins of the time. And one other game I wanted to bring up, just because the way the NBA Jam series evolved, uh, it evolved from Arch Rivals as the original game. Midway had a game called High Impact Football that was oh, an arcade yeah. game that was also ported over to at least the Sega Genesis. So that and was Super kind Nintendo of... Nintendo 2, yeah. yeah. It was hilarious, but it wasn't It wasn't a complete game no. in my mind. Yeah. No, but it had that arcade... Yeah. You know, football action that that might have what catap might have been what catapulted NFL Blitz was their experience with high impact football. Yeah, um, that game's a little bit more flawed than something like NFL Blitz, but that I thought that was definitely a series to bring up since Midway was also responsible for making that game. Another question we have is: Was NFL Blitz on the Dreamcast? And the question. To answer that question, yes. The NFL Blitz 2000 is on the Dreamcast and 2001. Uh, NFL Blitz 2000 is the one to get. Uh, I actually want to talk about this because NFL Blitz 2000 stayed true to the arcade experience completely. Gave you the initial login. You can save your data to the VMUs on the Dreamcast. Load your data. Just like you would in the arcade. Blitz 2001 on the Dreamcast removes that feature. So you no longer have... You can't enter your initials anymore. That's when they start moving towards, you know, a little bit more of a simulation experience. It was the same thing with NBA Hoops moving from Showtime to NBA Hoops. And I thought that was a bad move for Midway taking you know the arcade factor starting to pull that stuff out even though the game still played similar and the same they took you know those additional arcade uh features which is the leaderboards and the initials the stat tracking out of it i don't know why they would have done that but uh they th they thought that was the move for them at the time hopefully in the future we can talk to someone in Midway and maybe ask them yeah. about that, the timeline. That would be fun <laughs> since they are local Chicago. Get, get the scoop. Yeah. yeah, get the inside <laughs> scoop on what they were thinking at the time. Um, but that looks like all we have for the questions. Uh, is there anything else that you really want to bring up about NFL Blitz before we close this out? Oh, man, I got, a, I got strategy points. How much you want to hear about strategy? Yeah, we can we can listen to some strategy. Yeah, I mean, you just won the game, so yeah, this is what I did to defeat Tom. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, one th one thing about a uh, it's kind of my monologue on it. One thing about a, a complete game, it's going to be fun to pick up. Um, you're going to be able to get into it fast, but then if you if you really want to, you can kind of dig down, and there's going to be depth to the game, and 
I found that true with Blitz. Uh, there are certain um, skills when you pick up the game, you're, you're obviously going to need to learn how uh, the controller works, uh, you know, the jump and the, the pass and all that. You don't want to get them confused when you got a guy coming at you and about to sack your face. You, uh, you want to know how to get that pass off. Um, but then there, then there's uh, so those are the basic skills. But then you learn to. Um, you may have seen us a couple times while we were playing. Uh, and you just did a spin move. You do that by uh, pressing turbo twice. Um, when you also got the ball, you can uh, press A and you'll do a stiff arm. And so these are all like not automatic things. They take timing, and you uh, want to use those sparingly. But if you if you use them well, then you can get that yak, those yards after the, the catch. So. Um, I found that to be one element of, of depth. And then if you want to get really, really good, I haven't mastered it yet, but there's the jump interception, and that's when uh, it's easier to do on the arcade cabinets. But, and that's when um, you're on defense, the quarterback passes the ball, and you kind of, you can either push the guy over and kind of just catch the ball yourself as a defender, or maybe you can just like step up in front of the wide receiver and then j just press the B button and you'll intercept the ball. And it's, it's very difficult to do, but it's very gratifying uh, when you're able to pull that off. Um, obviously very frustrating for your opponent. They're like, how would you do that? You just snuck in there and snatched the ball. I thought it was, I was just gonna march down the field. You know, this is, this is some arcade play. But uh, so as you can see, there's like the basic controls. Uh, it gets a little bit more complicated and then um, then you got those really like top tier skills if you want to develop them. Um, it's like that for gameplay strategy too. If you want, you pick up the game. Um, you do a play, maybe it's called the bomb. You just you just set back and then you just you just whip it and come what may. You know, maybe you're passing to a guy who's open. Um, uh, maybe maybe you're not. You're just throwing it into coverage. That's plenty of fun. This game makes it um, fun to do that. Um, but then also you can you know get a little more into it and you can um, you can look at the plays okay where is my guy kind of gonna break and uh, kind of be open a little bit or where is he going where are a couple of my guys crossing that's gonna be confusing for the defense to to step on them and whatnot um, some plays might have two guys in the backfield one going each way and that's kind of confusing for the defense. So you learn the plays that kind of uh, you get really comfortable with, and that's kind of going to let you uh, compete better. It's going to help you, um, you know, beat the computer more consistently. If you're playing your friend, maybe it'll give you a step up on that. Um, and then, as far as strategy, you can get even further into it. If you're if you're on defense, let's say you're looking at the the offense and kind of how they're. Um, how their play is set up. So you're thinking, oh, they're gonna do that play where the two wide receivers cross. So you kind of prepare um, for that regard. And if you're able to get a, good at defense on this game, then that's really gonna give you a leg up because as you saw, it's, it's pretty easy to score. The game makes it that way. You just kind of uh, can uh, either run with the quarterback or you just move it up very quickly downfield. And, um, so if, you, if you're able to get some uh, defensive maneuvers in there, that, that's what I found to be rewarding. You kind of are able to master the game in that way. So um, yeah, those are, those are some of the points as far as like uh, the depth of it that I found. Um, I haven't mastered those elite moves yet, but uh, it is kind of fun to try. Um, but maybe I'll do another. I've done one season. I, I, just played with all 30 different teams and then whatever team came up I played and I was able to, to defeat them all. Maybe next time I would stick with the same team and um, try to get some good stats, maybe try to learn how to get those interceptions a little more. But, yeah, yeah and the cool thing about Blitz is most of the strategy is all in game besides that play editor. One thing we didn't really talk about that much is the turbo button, just like NBA Jam. Uh, you know, managing the turbo is a huge part of playing NFL Blitz, um, knowing when to, you know, the Z button's usually turbo on this version, when to hit the turbo, when to lay off, mm -hmm. uh, because that's gonna help you out a lot. So all the all this strategy in Blitz is really what you're doing in game, and that's really what video games are about. So if you love the core gameplay, of the NFL football and NFL Blitz. You got everything you want right here. Uh, N64 version is great to go with. There's really no loading. 
the game runs smooth, and it's it's just a fantastic game, yeah. and uh, I would I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, it's a great series, and uh, I think we'll be covering some more of the other versions of NFL Blitz and see if they stack up to what they did originally with this first version. Yeah, there are a few good ones out there. Yeah, they, uh, they had a pretty good run for the series, that's for sure. All right, so that is going to wrap it up. This was the in-depth dive with Green Magic. If you like these specific type videos... We'll definitely do some more for you, and if not, we're gonna do them anyways. <laughs> so there are um, a lot of there are a lot of games to talk about. We're just getting started, so so if you like, uh, yeah, if you're watching this live, uh, please give it a like. We're gonna be live again, playing some retro sports league action. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Peace out.